Hello, hello everyone. Welcome again to a review of one of this summer 2021 season anime. Today, we're going to be discussing Peach Boy Riverside. Now, if you watched the video yesterday, uh, you will know that Peach Boy Riverside is kind of a mess in terms of how they ordered the episodes. Uh, if you want to check out that video, it is on my channel. Just look up the correct viewing order of Peach Boy Riverside. That's all you got to do. Uh, I'll get onto that a little bit later on in this video as well. Uh, just kind of tell you why that video needs to exist. Uh, but anyway, yeah, today we'll be talking about Peach Boy Riverside, which ended today as I'm recording this video. So, it's 12 episodes long, and oh boy. So I liked the concept. It was great. In the beginning, it was great. Uh, and then they started jumping around the plot. And by jumping around the plot, I mean like I, I actually went ahead and got like a list going of the chronological viewing order for this show. And oh my God. So episode four takes place before episode one. And then episode seven takes place before episode five, six, three. And yeah, that's just an example of what uh, I'm talking about there. Anyway, it's kind of a mess in that regard. However, if it would have been in the correct viewing order, I personally would have enjoyed it a lot more. It was an interesting show, had an interesting concept, I feel. And uh, I definitely would like to have watched it in the correct viewing order. And it would have been much more enjoyable. But... Even though it was out of order for me, it wasn't that bad. It was still kind of an interesting show with an interesting concept, and I have very much enjoyed it. Uh, so those of you who did not watch my actual anime review, basically it's about a magical world where humans, demi-humans, and ogres are all kind of like at odds with each other and whatnot. And the story centers around uh, Sally, is what her name is. However, apparently in the manga, it centers around Makoto, who... Uh, it's like this wandering swordsman, basically. Uh, however, for whatever reason, uh, actually, I think the reason for the change is because the manga was not like up to date enough to actually use Makoto as the main character, because it would have been like, I don't know, it was some weird excuse as why they had to change the order of the episodes. Um, so they decided to make the main character Sally. Uh, but regardless, they didn't even have to out of order the episodes like they did. They're, they're just dumb. It's whatever. But anyway, it's about Sally going on a journey, and basically it boils down to she wants to have everyone be peaceful and have peace between the, the humans, demi-humans, and oni, or ogres, uh, have everyone come to an understanding and uh, stomp out discrimination, essentially. And as she does so, there's fights and people who disagree with that and all this kind of stuff. And she gets traveling companions and all this fun stuff that happens. Yeah, so it's got action. It's got... Uh, I wouldn't say it has drama. What's what's it got in it? It's got uh, basically there's a lot of action and fantasy stuff going on. Really, uh, pretty good. The concepts were interesting. There's a lot of, of mystery stuff, like who are these people really, kind of thing going on. Like especially the main characters, like how did they get their powers? And uh, this this character named Frau, who exactly are they? Because it's like one of two things I feel, and I'm not going to spoil it here, but. Frau is definitely one of two things, or maybe a third thing, I don't know, but, uh, whoo, okay, anyway, some of the characters are also just like, what is your goal? So it's like, uh, I'm curious about it, however, because of the way they ordered the episodes, if they do the same thing in a second season, if it gets a second season, because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of negative uh, negativity about the way that they decided to handle the rollout of the episodes, uh, so they might even not get a second season on this. Uh, not only that, but I think since the manga is not, it wasn't far enough for them to have Makoto as the main character, um, it's not going to get a second season for a very long time. At least. <laughs> That's my thoughts. But if they do out of order the second season, if there is one, I will more than likely not watch it. Because it's it's annoying for it to be out of order when it does not need to be. In this case, this is the worst thing I've seen done to an anime. Probably ever. Like, I've seen bad anime, right? But this is a good anime that they took, and they just fucked it up by butchering the order of the episodes. And it, it, it's, it's jacked. 
is not cool. Because you have characters who get introduced in episodes after they've already been part of the show. So, like, they'll be traveling with someone or interacting with them like they've known them for a while. And then a couple episodes later, they'll they'll meet the person. And it's not like a flashback. It's like, no, it's like this is just a thing that happened. Uh, so it, it makes no sense. Like, after the first four episodes, I was like, huh, is... Is the is the website messed up and like or airing them out of order? So I looked it up and I was like, nope. There was a news article on it and everything about yeah. So this uh, the director or whoever it was, they decided that uh, the best viewing order for this would be this because they want to make Sally the main character, not Makoto, which is stupid. Because even if the episodes are in the correct order, it still centers around Sally. Because Makoto is barely in the goddamn show at all. He shows up like maybe five times. But, uh, my God. What an excuse. To make just a bad, horrible decision. Uh, yeah. So that's that's basically Peach Boy Riverside in like a nutshell um, about all that. I did like the action and fighting and all that kind of stuff. I, I did like the basic concept and the plot of it. However, what really kills it is the Out of Order episodes. That's really all there is to it. Um, it would definitely achieve higher and be a lot more memorable on my, my, my anime lists if it wasn't out of order. But thanks to my previous video about the correct viewing order of Peach Boy Riverside, you can save yourself some agony by watching it in the correct order that it should be in. So go ahead and check out that video. It's like six minutes long. However, the only thing that you really need to do is open the video, look at the description, and I have all of the stuff listed there in the exact order you need to watch it in. So the hardest part for you will be not just clicking the next button when the episode ends, but opening it up the whole thing and clicking on the next episode correctly. That'll be the hardest thing. But yeah, definitely check it out in the order it's meant to be in, in my opinion. And trust me, I, I detailed it, very detailed, to know exactly, exactly when things needed to go where. Because I made sure on my list here to mark out, okay, this is what happens at the beginning, this is what happens in the middle, this is what happens in the end. So then, it was just a matter of patching which ones go where together. The only one that was kind of iffy was episode number nine. However... I decided not to put episode 9 first, even though it kind of takes place before everything, because it's a flashback, and you can tell because of the ending. Um, and what happens on the previous episode as well. So, that's everything I have for Peach Boy Riverside, y'all. Uh, like I said, check it out in the correct viewing order, of course. And uh, that'll wrap things up for me. Uh, we're really getting down into the final episodes of Seasons here. So, we'll be seeing more of these videos coming out. And I hope you all are enjoying the, like, single video things. Rather than, like, the, the one to two hour videos I've been doing about just rambling about all the anime at the same time unnecessarily long. Uh, so, I feel like this is a little bit better for me, because I'm not killing my voice with an hour of talking. And uh, I can actually just focus in on one specific episode. And if there's more stuff I want to talk about, I can actually do it. So I'm going to wrap things up here, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye for now.